Hey guys, from a hoarder who was bitten by his pet black widow to a hippo who ate his owner, here are 9 stories when keeping an exotic pet went terribly wrong. Number 9. Bitten by his pet black widow Hearing that someone is a spider collector can be a little off-putting, right? But bug collecting and arachnid collecting are actually more common than you'd think. There are people who collect them just to trade and sell them to other collectors all over the world. The problem here, though, is when one of those collectible items is dangerous and potentially fatal, like the Black Widow Spider. Here is an example of Mike Vogel, a German man who had no problem being alone in life. The only things that kept him company were the various snakes, insects, and spiders that he'd collected over time. We're sure you can guess what's about to happen to Mr. Vogel. Somehow, one of his Black Widows got out and bit him. Black Widow spiders are one of the most venomous spiders on the planet, and getting bitten by them can cause all sorts of pain and agony, and a lot of time it can cause death. Now, not only did he die from that bite, he was later found draped in spider webs and mostly consumed by the hundreds of creatures that this solitary man had in his place. So much so that it said his body was scattered all over the place by the time he was discovered. To wrap this up, there are better things to keep you company than deadly spiders. Just saying. Do you know anyone with a collection like Mr. Vogel? Let us know in the comments section down below. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 8. Travis the Chimpanzee Disfigured a Woman Travis the Chimpanzee became famous after he appeared on TV with his owner Sandra Harold. In 2009, Harold called her friend Charlotte Nash for help getting the 200-pound chimp back into his cage. But when Travis saw Nash, he attacked. Harold tried to stop Travis with a knife, which only angered him more. She called 911 and police arrived, which led to Travis ripping off the door of one of the police cars. An officer shot Travis, ending the chimp's rampage. Nash eventually received a settlement from Harold's estate and has undergone extensive reconstructive surgery. A pet deer gored its owner. When you think of exotic animals, deer aren't always the first four-legged creatures that come to mind, but they're still wild animals that aren't built for living in captivity. Texas resident Gerald Rushton kept a 500-pound red stag deer in a pen in his backyard. Despite the fact that deer are illegal to keep in Texas and extremely dangerous, Rushton was attempting to domesticate the animal and keep it as a pet. The attempt failed as the deer gored and trampled Rushton to death. Game wardens arrived on the scene and put the deer down, but Rushton could not be saved. Number 6. Simba the Pet Lion Bit His Owner Illinois resident Al Abel kept a brood of exotic animals in a small zoo he called Cougar Bluff Enterprise, including a nearly 400-pound African lion called Simba. Abel was usually careful in the handling of his exotic pets, but one afternoon he made a fatal mistake. He forgot to lock the door to the secondary pen that he put the lion in when cleaning its cage. The details surrounding Abel's death are uncertain, but Abel's wife returned to the property to find him missing, the lion roaming free, and the other animals on the farm agitated. What followed was a tense standoff between local police and the lion, which ended with Simba shot dead by assault rifles. Abel's body was found near the animal cage, having bled to death from a massive bite in his leg. Number 5. Teddy the Black Bear Killed His Owner Bears are beautiful animals, people love them and fear them, and you should probably fear them too. They're massive, powerful, and like all animals that belong in the wild, they're unpredictable. So is it a good idea to keep a bear as a pet? Well, for the Waltz family of Pennsylvania, they learned the hard way that this wasn't the best idea. Their bear, very appropriately named Teddy, was an example of what happens when these stories take a darker turn. The Waltz family had raised Teddy since he was a young cub, so Teddy did have a bond with the family. And yet, that bond didn't stop the 350-pound teddy bear from killing 37-year-old Kellyanne Waltz as she was cleaning its cage. Though cages for wild animals often have a section that contains the animal while the other side is cleaned, Waltz entered the cage with the bear loose. According to USA Today and the Pennsylvania Game Commission, her children and the neighbor's children saw the attack and summoned help, and the neighbor shot and killed the bear while it was atop Waltz. 
Number 4. A man kept a tiger in a tiny apartment. Antoine Yates lived in a small apartment in Harlem, New York in 2003. But that didn't stop him from owning a fully grown pet tiger and an alligator. In September 2003, Yates went to the hospital with injuries he claimed were caused by his pit bull. His injuries and an anonymous tip raised the suspicions of the authorities. What's most surprising is that many of the people living in Yates' apartment building knew he had a tiger in his apartment but had not reported it, except for one who had complained about tiger pee coming in through the ceiling. Both animals were taken to a shelter. Number 3. A Camel in Heat Trampled Its Owner Australian Pam Weaver was given a camel for her 60th birthday, which isn't so strange given that she owned a large property full of cattle and sheep as well. Of course, cows and sheep aren't camels. Shortly after starting its life as a pet, the camel repeatedly attempted to become amorous with the family's pet goat. Then one evening, disaster struck as the camel reportedly tried to mate with Weaver during which the animal knocked her over and lay on top of her, smothering her. Number 2. A Farmer Was Devoured By His Pet Pigs Family members of Oregon farmer Terry Vance Garner were shocked to discover his dentures and undisclosed body parts in his pig enclosure several hours after Garner went missing. Authorities think Garner either suffered cardiac arrest and fell into the pen or was knocked over by the huge animals before being eaten. The investigation dragged on for months and never produced a conclusive verdict as to whether the animals killed Garner or simply ate him after he passed on. In a strange addendum to the story, police later raided Garner's farm and arrested his son on multiple drugs and weapons violations. Number 1. Humphrey the Hippo Ate His Owner We now move on to a man known as Marius Els who lived in South Africa. Marius liked having exotic animals as pets, and one of the animals that he kept on his property as a pet was a hippopotamus named Humphrey. Marius and Humphrey were apparently very close, and Marius truly did love his pet hippo. He would even sit on Humphrey's back and ride him on occasion. However, one day Humphrey attacked Marius and killed him. In 2011, Marius Els was savagely bitten by his pet hippopotamus. Els had adopted the 1.2-ton creature when it was just five months old, after the animal was rescued from a flood and had attempted to domesticate it. Humphrey's like a son to me, he's just like a human, he told a reporter earlier in the year. There's a relationship between me and Humphrey, and that's what some people don't understand. Humphrey had already done his share of damage, breaking out of his pen many times, chasing golfers and more. African authorities caution people not to keep hippos as pets, as they're impossible to train, can run 30 miles per hour, and cause more deaths than almost every other wild animal in the country combined. Thanks for watching! What do you think of these stories about people and their exotic pets? Were you surprised by any of them? Do you know anyone that has an exotic pet? Let us know in the comments section down below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time.